My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. I want to thank you for joining me faithfully to reflect on the readings for this Sunday of Lent. The Gospel is from John chapter 12, verses 20 to 30, and the theme is One Life to Die, Many Lives to Live. One inspiration that I drew in my younger days in following Jesus was from Father H. Bertol from the parish of St. Anne's Church when I met him in 1974. When I asked him what it means to be a priest, he said, we do not live only for ourselves. We have to save others as well. I understood that to mean that we are responsible for the well-being and the salvation, not just of our own souls, but those of others as well. In our gospel passage, when some Greeks sought Jesus during the Passover, he spoke of his impending death. Inevitable in doing his Father's will, Jesus, Jesus likens it to one grain of wheat that must die in order to produce a harvest. It is this law of nature that death gives birth to life. If this is a cycle of physical life and death of every creature on earth, then there can be no other way for us? Yes? No. Jesus shows us the way that his death will bring about new life. He emphasizes self-denial, a dying to oneself. Just imagine how a caterpillar reforms itself in a cocoon and emerges transformed into a beautiful butterfly. But we, like many among the crowd, still find it difficult to comprehend his suffering. Just as, as, just as when we ourselves are struck down by illnesses or treated with contempt and hurt by others. Remember, Jesus rise again from the tomb after three days to eternal life. Through him, we see the power of God at work. Jesus explained that his crucifixion would judge the world and draw all to himself, revealing the nature of his death, which brings new life and God's glory. Jesus was troubled as he was, suffering in anguish and a failure in the eyes of the world, chose to do God's will right to the end. And God's comforting presence comes to Jesus in the divine voice to affirm his choice. I will glorify it. I will glorify it again. And this is the glory and honor given to those who follow, obey, and serve him. We can appreciate that Jesus was the one life to die in order that many lives to be saved. And to repeat the words of Father Bertol, we do not live only for ourselves. We have to save others as well. And with that, I have two questions for reflections. The first is, what is one small sacrifice that I have made that brings about a positive outcome for others? Second, how can I imitate Jesus more during this season of land in my prayer, my charity and fasting? With that, let us pray. While fasting with the body, brothers and sisters, let us also fast in spirit. Let us lose every bond of iniquity. Let us undo the knots of every contact made by violence. Let us tear up all unjust agreements. Let us give bread to the hungry and welcome to our house the poor who have no roof to cover them. That Jesus may receive mercy from Christ our God. Amen. Thank you for joining me and may God bless all of us.